We start with a warning. This next story about a state police investigation into a corrections official discusses sexual abuse and suicide. That investigation recommended criminal charges against a deputy director with Henry County Corrections. But before the official was arrested, he ended his own life, and the investigation ended quietly, keeping the investigation's disturbing details from the public. Until now, Chief Investigator Steve Brown has the story tonight. At this Lawrence home, a state police investigation abruptly ended after this call. 911, address of your emergency. Megan Lee Drive. Okay, what's going on there? I'm going to kill myself, and I don't want anybody else to find me. Okay, do you have any weapons? Yeah, I'm, it'll be done before they get here. Thank you. The caller, Jason Bertram, would die at IU Methodist Hospital. He was also wanted on eight criminal charges, including two counts of sexual misconduct. The alleged crimes happened on the job in Bertram's office at Henry County Community Corrections, where he was deputy director. That's a pretty big story, right? And yet, no news release or public statement from the state police, from Henry County's prosecutor, from the Henry County Community Corrections office, or from the State Department of Corrections. The only person talking, this guy. You know what? Life's a lesson. Sometimes you got to go with it. During this March interview, Samuel Shipley was in the Henry County Jail on a drug charge. In January 2018, he was on home confinement for a probation violation and reported to Henry County Community Corrections for a drug test. I knew I was going to fail it. I had just done cocaine before I walked in there. So you're thinking, okay, I'm off to jail. Yeah. Witnessing Shipley's drug test, Jason Bertram. He put a seal over it, and then he uh, went back down the hallway to his office, and he's typing on his computer, and again, didn't look at me, but he said, uh, you ever think about being in porn? At first, I said, excuse me, what, what are you talking about? Then Shipley says Bertram threw the urine sample in the trash and asked Shipley to expose himself. He goes, just let me see your one time. And I said, so if I show you my seriously, this is it? Like, I don't have to, he said, he said, yeah. So I'm afraid I did. Shipley told the same story to a state police detective. He also started writing letters and emails to the local newspaper. I get letters from inmates. I've gotten lots of letters from inmates. Was he talking about Jason Bertram? Uh, the, uh, the emails I was getting were talking about Jason Bertram. Courier Times managing editor Travis Wyke knew where to look for proof of Shipley's story, but didn't find a single public document anywhere. Finally, reached out to the prosecutor's office and said, I'm not seeing anything. Is there a chance that maybe there are warrants or there are a, a, a case that for some reason I can't see? And ultimately, it turns out there was. Prosecutor Michael Mahoney gave Wyke the probable cause affidavit. State police identified four Bertram victims, all men serving sentences through Henry County Community Corrections. Shipley is one of the four. Of the other three, one says Bertram paid $40 to fondle him. Another says Bertram offered to waive court fees and community service if he'd show his penis to Bertram. Another man allowed Bertram to perform oral sex on him, fearing he'd be sent back to prison if he didn't comply. The affidavit states photos and audio recordings were collected that corroborate stories of two victims. In February, Newcastle's Courier Times reported on the investigation, but the paper's website has a paywall limiting who'd see it. And White says public officials were not interested in commenting on it. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody, um, yeah, it, it just, I does, understand. Does that strike you as unusual? Given the gravity of the allegations here? It's, um, it's disappointing. Hi there, this is Steve Brown from Fox 59. Almost everyone we contacted in Henry County government about the Bertram investigation nice referred us well, to this man, Joel Harvey, the um, county attorney. Had some questions following up in your email? Yeah, if you want to send those to me an email, I actually have to run. I really do. I've got something for my daughter. Can the commission? I I really, I'd prefer they not, frankly. Well, they are. They're welcome to do that. My recommendation would be not to have any comment. 
and the commissioners didn't comment. Now, the big remaining question is, are there just four Bertram victims? I spoke with an expert who thinks it's likely there are more. But when Bertram died, the state police investigation ended and so did efforts to identify other victims. So we're doing the outreach instead. If you were victimized by Jason Bertram, please contact the Indiana State Police at 800-527-4752. Again, 800-527-4752. Steve Brown, Fox 59 Investigates. Steve, thank you for shedding that light.